FL Studio offers some handy tools for processing audio once it's been recorded. Two common tools are pitch shifting, or transposition, and time stretching. These are very useful if you need to mix and match audio in different keys and tempos, as well as sound design, or if you're making DJ-style mashups and sets. Here's a common scenario. You're working on a song, let's say at 120 beats per minute, and you import some audio. However, the audio is not at the right tempo. If you already know the tempo of this clip, it's not too hard. Under the channel settings for this clip, I'll right-click the time knob, then auto detect, then click type in BPM. I know this clip is 130 BPM, so I'll type that in and then play it back to see how it sounds. Okay, so it's in the right tempo, but the pitch is wrong. Back in the channel settings, notice how Resample is selected in this menu. Resample allows you to change pitch or tempo, but only both at the same time, which is not what I want here. Clicking on the menu reveals various algorithms for pitch and time. Pro Default usually works pretty well, so I'm going to select that first. This sounds almost correct, but there's still some weirdness going on in the audio. Let me try another mode, like tonal. Okay, and that is perfect. Once an audio clip has been adjusted to fit the project tempo, you can change the tempo of the entire project and all clips will be adjusted to match. Just make sure to hit yes when prompted. Now to go back a few steps, what if you don't know the tempo of the audio clip you're working with? If you can't figure it out from the source material of the audio, and ideally it should be labeled in the file name, you can try to find it by looking at and listening to the audio and seeing how it matches up with your project's grid. If you can't figure it out, you can right-click the time knob for the clip and see if FL comes up with a decent guess. If not, you can have it guess a time range. Pitch shifting, or transposition, can be done using the pitch knob. This is pretty straightforward as you can simply turn the knob up or down to adjust the pitch up or down. Just remember that different stretching and shifting modes may yield better results depending on the source material. Also, keep in mind that the more drastic you change the tempo or the pitch of an audio clip, the more artifacts you're going to hear.